Hey friends, good morning. Like it or not, winter is a coming. And with the season, often comes colds, dry skin, and a laundry list of other ailments. But there are some unconventional tips we have for you to keep you healthy in the months ahead. Bahar Tekteshi, and lifestyle and wellness expert, joins us with a survival guide to keep you well for winter. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. The first one you say we need to blink more? Yes. Or wear sunglasses. Why is that? So when it's cold outside, the air is more dry, and that means there's not as much moisture in it, obviously. So this causes your tears to kind of evaporate more quickly. Mm -hmm. So you might notice your eyes are a little bit, you know, they feel weirder, they feel dry. So my tip is to wear sunglasses when you're outside. This is going to prevent you from getting wrinkles and sun damage, but mm -hmm. it also keeps the moisture in. Yeah, blocks um, the wind, too. Yeah, or you can use lubricating eye drops if there's a real situation with your eyes being too dry. Yeah, but sometimes people can get addicted to those just like, nasal spray. So exactly. I like your tip better. How about this? Eat with your left hand at parties. What does this mean? Okay, I actually do this all the time anyway. So you're at a holiday party, you're shaking your hand, someone's hand with your right hand, uh -huh. and you've got food in front of you. So the best thing to do is to use one hand to greet and one hand to eat. Because when you're greeting someone's hand, you're possibly getting germs. You don't want to put that in your mo mouth. You don't want to put that on in your food. So use your left hand to eat and then your right hand yeah. to say hello. And then best thing you can do is so to wash your hands afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, but if somebody shakes your hand and then you say, excuse me, I can't eat this this carrot and hummus right now. I need to go use some hand sanitizer. Yeah, that's awkward. That like, seems rude or if you fist bump instead of handshaking. It's awkward. Uh, yeah. So that's why you can designate one hand for okay. each. Why do we need to change our toothpaste? Okay, so in the wintertime when you're outside, your teeth are very porous, especially if you have like enamel that's exposed or you have nerves that are exposed. The cold air aggravates that. Mm -hmm. um, so what you want to do is keep your mouth closed when you're outside side and it's really really chilly because that's going to prevent some cold air from getting into your mouth and also um, you might want to use a different toothpaste if you're noticing sensitivity either a sensitive toothpaste or you know go from different brands because they have different active ingredients and that'll help your teeth feel a little bit better of course if there's a bigger issue you have to see your dentist okay and as far as changing your sheets you know some people like to do it once a week or every other week but our pillowcases you say every single week we've got to do it during yes the every single week especially if you're sleeping next to somebody who's sick or if you're sick you want to make sure you do it every single day and that means popping it into the dryer um, in the washing machine hot cycle um, and change it. It also prevents dust mites which can really cause allergies too. Yeah. Um, and what about like the, the even the duvet covers and things like that? How often do you have to do yeah, that? Yeah. I mean, I always say wash your sheets once a week. The duvet, you know, every two weeks or once a month because that's a little bit more of a process. But the idea here is um, these viruses and infections can thrive in the cold uh, in the cold air. So you really want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Okay. And you say be intimate with your partner once or twice a week. That's the magic number, huh? Yes, the, <laughs> it is. So the idea here is they did they did a study that found that there is um, an antibody that's really you have more of this antibody when you're intimate once or twice a week and that antibody helps you fight off colds and the mm -hmm. flu plus intimacy if it's you know the good kind gives you you know a mood boost and it you know can help with you know oxytocin levels right but you but you say it is actually one to two times a week is the magic is. number because we've got our viewers uh, your ears are broken up hey honey <laughs> wow chicka wow wow but it's actually that's the magic number doing it even more is yeah the study found that doing it more than twice a week wasn't great but I don't I'm not necessarily convinced that that's, that's the case. That just may have been, you know, the study. But um, as long as you're in a happy, healthy relationship, I think as much as you can bond, the better. Yeah, all right. Bahar Takteshian, thank you so much for all those tips. Thank you. Eat and greet. Yes. Very nice.